Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and today we I'm going to talk about government intervention in the Forex market and how the USD Yippee moved 500 pips in 7 minutes. Can you believe it? 500 pips in 7 minutes. So here's what happened and this is the 1 minute chart so that's how I know it's 7 minutes. It started over there on that particular candle. There was a small movement, small movement, small, and then bigger movement and then a gigantic movement that was actually rejected. So the, the price actually went all the way down there and that was a 285 pip move. And then the rejection went all the way up and to that point up there, which was a 220 pip move. So the price literally in seven minutes went all the way up there and all the way up there. And that is a 500 pip move. And if we look at the five minute chart, it becomes a lot clearer what actually happened. Is the price was bumping its head against a major resistance area at 150.000. So that was a major, major resistance area. The price was there. What had happened in the meantime is that the US dollar had become extremely strong, very bullish as a result of a Fed announcement that give, gave the market the impression that the US dollar would be very strong. They were talking about the US dollar going into parity with the euro. So very, very bullish talk from the Fed and that obviously pushed the market so that the USD became very strong and Japan obviously became a little bit worried about that. And as you can see, they were sitting there and there's the, and as the price broke that major resistance. So, so when the price breaks that major resistance, it means that the US dollar is strong and it also could mean that the, the, the euro is weak. It could, be, it could be one of those or both together. So the way the Japanese would deal with that is they would buy the yen to make it stronger. And that's exactly, they must have spent millions or billions on that particular transaction. We just drove the price of the US yen right down, which means there was a very strong strengthening of the yen. And that is why that went down. And, but it didn't last very long because what happened, it shot straight up again. And as we've seen, as the total movement was 500 pips. Now, these kind of things happened a lot when I started trading. It was actually quite common. And we marked all the major resistance and support areas. And Japan was famous for intervening in the market and doing this kind of thing that resulted in candles of 400 and 500 pips quite regularly in those days. They have gone quite quiet over the last two decades and then suddenly this happened. And obviously all yen crosses were impacted. Years one, 540 on the pound yen, 270 on the uh, New Zealand yen, 460 on the uh, Euro yen, 280 on the Aussie yen. So all the yen crosses were affected with these spiky movements and clearly that is a big disruption in the market. So I then googled and I said when was the last time Japan intervened in the forex market and they said it is more than a decade since Japan intervened directly in the forex market and more than two decades since it intervened uh, to support its currency, which it lasted during the Asian financial crisis. And that's exactly what I experienced is that in my days, they were regular, inter uh, regular parties that intervened in the forex market by buying their currency to make it stronger and stronger. And the big thing was in those days, it was a big laugh because they spent millions and billions on these interventions and the price just drifted back to where it was before the intervention. So it's a, a bit of a false thing to do. I'm not sure why these financial gurus did these kind of activities, but they do mess obviously with us traders 
in that all the Japanese yen crosses and the USD yen cross really took a bit of a jump when this happened. Now, interesting enough, they are silent whether they intervened or not. And there was a no comment on whether Japanese intervened in the forex market as after this happened. So, so one wonders if this will happen again because it is very likely that the price will eventually drift up to the, that kind of level again. And we can possibly in, expect another intervention. Now, what are the lessons to be learned from this? Obviously, when trading the forex market, expect the unexpected. That is what you've got to do. The, a, a movement of 500 pips in one in seven minutes is not a joke in this kind of market, and it will destroy all transactions that are that are related to the yen. So, so unfortunately, the the forex market is a very dangerous market, as you can see here. And things happen that are totally out of the control of us technical analysis traders. At the time of making this video, the US dollar seems to be strengthening and strengthening all the time. And it is going to be interesting when that trend finally ends. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.